This is our first world excursion. It started in Japan, one travel day to get to Holland. Then comes Germany, Belgium, France, Czech Republic. Then we have some shows at home in North and South Carolina, and then Costa Rica. It's always been kind of like a dream. And, you know, a lot of people need assistance to make these things happen because it's not easy to make a tour like this happen. So last year, like I presented the forecast to an agent who was turned down for the 50th time. And I said to myself, all right, 2015, we're going. So November of 2014, I sat down and started to plan what is now this tour. <laughs> We got this amazing opportunity to, to play this festival called Peter Barakan's Live Magic. And it's like I knew that it was going to be a big event, but I wasn't really sure what to expect. And so where we're from, if you're playing a festival at 1 p.m. on a Saturday, you know, Americans are pre-gaming. Even if it's the biggest festival, there might only be like 100 people there at 1 p.m. So I already set it up in my head that, okay, you know what, even if there's five people out there, I'm just happy to be here, you know. And then so we're backstage, and I peek my head around the curtain, and it's a full house, about 1,200 people. Also, the reception in terms of the level of respect just completely embraced our music, and not necessarily in a way where there was a lot of like screaming and cheering all throughout, but it was like very respectful. The vibe of it was just like, they were just there to receive everything, and then when it was time to show their appreciation, they showed their appreciation, and it's been a, a really cool experience. The Rotterdam, the Jazz Festival, it was really, really, really good show that we had, and you know, met some great people there, beautiful venue. Halle, Germany, it was really wild because I met the guy on Facebook, randomly, who books the club. He mentioned about this little club that he has, and it seems like a little off the beaten path, but something in me said, you know, let's go there. And to make a long story short, we had a packed out night there on a Tuesday. kind of a, a special thing for me to be back in Würzburg, Germany. A big part of that is because I went to middle school and high school there and then also to have such a great reception in Würzburg was was pretty awesome. Playing at the school the other day, that was really incredible for me. You never know who's going to ask a question that you never heard in your life that really gets you thinking about your whole thing and why you're doing what you do, and then you learn something from that. Got to spend time with the kids and, and uh, really just, you know, talk to them and almost not really be their heroes, but really inspire them. Um, that they can do music and really do anything that they want to do. The fact that we're doing what we do, to me, shows people that they can really go after their dreams and do what they want to do, too. <laughs> For the whole tour, nothing felt real, but everything felt real at the same time. It was like, it was like being in a dream but the dream is real, but it's still a dream. It was kind of crazy looking at the, the calendar and like, hey man, we got a lot. But the bigger thing would be the people, the inspiration that I was able to give and that I was able to get back. Definitely is making me a better person and, and helping me learn what I need to do to really create positive energy and share that energy and what that really means and what that really entails. It's definitely uh, something that has changed my life and, and I'm going to reflect on a lot.